Malaria Antigen Rapid Test Learning Objectives The student is supposed to be able to describe the biochemical principles behind RTD test for malaria and also be able to describe the test and know the clinical application of the test. Malaria is a disease caused by four identified species of Plasmodia, namely Plasmodium vivax, Plasmodium falciparum, Plasmodium oval, and Plasmodium malariae. It is transmitted by the female Anopheles mosquito. It is a disease that can be treated in just 48 hours, yet it can cause fatal complications if the diagnosis and treatment are delayed. It is re-imagined as the number one infectious killer and is the number one priority tropical disease of the World Health Organization. The Malaria PF Rapid Test is a rapid chromatographic immunoassay for the qualitative detection of circulating Plasmodium falciparum in whole blood. The Malaria Plasmodium falciparum Rapid Test device can be performed using whole blood. Both finger stick whole blood and venipuncture whole blood can be used. Principle The Malaria Plasmodium Falciparum Rapid Test Device whole blood is a qualitative membrane-based immunoassay for the detection of Plasmodium Falciparum antigen in whole blood. The membrane is pre-coated with Plasmodium Falciparum antibody. During testing, the whole blood specimen reacts with the dye conjugate, which has been pre-coated in the test strip. The mixture then migrates upward on the membrane chromatographically by capillary action and reacts with Plasmodium falciparum antibody on the membrane on the test line. If the specimen contains Plasmodium falciparum antigen, a colored line will appear in the test region. As a procedural control, a colored line will always appear in the control region. The one-step malaria antigen rapid test kit consists of a test device, assay diluent, Disposable sample applicator, a lancet, and an alcohol swab. The lancet is fixed onto the lancet holder and made ready for use. The lancet is used to prick the tip of the thumb. And the blood is collected with a disposable sample applicator and put into the sample well of the test device. Two drops of the assay diluent is dropped into the other sample well and the device is allowed to develop. Interpretation of results. For a negative result, one colored line appears in the control region C and no apparent colored line appears in the test region T. For a positive result, two distinct colored lines appear. One line should be in the control region, that is C and another line should be in the test region, T.
Note, the intensity of the color in the test line region T may vary depending on the concentration of plasmodium falciparum antigens present in the specimen. Therefore, any shade of color in the test region T should be considered positive. For a result to be invalid, a control line fails to appear. Insufficient specimen volume or incorrect procedural techniques are the most likely results for control line failure. When this occurs, review the procedure and repeat the test with a new test device. If the problem persists, discontinue using the test kit immediately and contact your local distributor.